Hello, everyone. Uh, please write in YouTube chat if you can hear me well. Oh, great. Um, thank all of you, firstly, for joining today's introductory webinar about the ICPCPFL exam preparation course. I'm Nadia Siov of the Exact Portfolio Office, and today I will be with you. Um, before we dive into the presentation, I would like to know more about you, our audience. Can you just write in the YouTube chat what's your field of studies or um, what's your current position if you work currently? Just try to use the YouTube chat. Hello, Beckham. Hello, Alex. Can you write also what's your field or faculty you are studying? Oh, nice. I see someone from IT Step Academy. <laughs> okay, let me ask one more question. Um, for me, it's interesting also to know what's your expectation about this course. What do you expect from this course? At least those who are interested to start with us, with this course. And again, of course, use the YouTube chat. And I think you already understand that uh, today our main communication channel will be YouTube chat. And anytime you can write here any question, um, and either my colleagues uh, or me uh, will cover your questions or at later we will have a dedicated Q&A sessions and I will try to answer all your questions there as well. So I'm waiting what you will reply about the question related to your expectations for this course. Mm -hmm. Learn more about ISTQ. <laughs>
I already see questions related to the to watch the webinar. Yes, it will be recorded and later you can watch it as well. Okay. Now, let's start. <laughs> we can start. Um, during this webinar and this meeting, I will try firstly to explain what is ICQB and CTFL itself in order to understand better what we will have during the whole course, the preparation course, and with the whole length. Then I will try to speak about the professional growth and the career development plan for the current year and also a little bit overview of the past 2022 20, year. Uh, why to choose an accredited course? As for example, our course is accredited one and I think um, most of you will be interested to know why to choose the accredited one and also ICQB certification itself. Uh, briefly about the company who is hosting this course uh, about Exact Pro. Uh, the course content and the structure itself, how it will look for the whole uh, length of the course, what will be included, how it will work. And we will have also a very interesting part where you will have a chance to meet the team uh, who will lead this intake of this course. Uh, and also a small part where I will try to give recommendations connected to real the final ICQ beam exam. And of course, the final session will be dedicated to Q&A session, and we will try to cover all your questions. And again, um, if somehow will be left any questions after live stream, you will have a chance to leave your question in the comments of, um, of under the live stream uh, video, and definitely we will reply to your questions. So what is ISTQB? I think some of you may already know what is it. So try to write in YouTube chat. And if not, just try to guess somehow. Interesting. It's the way to check if software works correctly. Okay, let's see the other, other answers. Okay. <laughs> Let me uh, describe what is ISTQB. Uh, well, uh, International Software Testing Qualifications Board uh, that was founded in November 2002 in Belgium um, and its non-profit uh, organization. Um, they founded and created the um, Certified Tester Scheme that is global, uh, worldwide recognized, and the biggest, I would say, in the software testing field um, regarding to certification scheme. Um, as you see from the screen, they have developed several products for uh, different levels in order to start and take any of them. The first step is to take the, the foundation level, Certified Tester. 
product and then uh, you are welcome to take any other uh, other certifications um, either it's advanced level or expert level and so on um, generally ISTQ be consists of uh, various um, different local member boards of Ford Wild uh, for example uh, for Georgia as I'm based in Georgia uh, we have here um, the board called GOSTQB, which is the official representative board of ISTQB. And in order to find your local board on Worldwide, you can just check it on the official ISTQB website and pick up the information uh, and you can contact them uh, regarding to any topic related to ISTQB. Now about the foundation level, CTFL, what will be based our co course, um, mostly it involves the, the basic understanding and fundamentals around software testing. And those who will uh, take the course and itself the foundation level gives the understanding of what is software testing, uh, seven testing principles, um, software development, um, uh, models, life cycle models, um, test types, tools, and so on. Lots of things that are definitely connected to the fundamentals and basic understanding of software testing. The course itself uh, consists of 40 questions. Uh, and in order to pass it successfully, you have to uh, take at least 65% or above. Um, generally, um, the length of the exam is one hour, but for non-native English uh, speakers, it can be plus 15 minutes, so around 75 minutes in order to take um, uh, the exam and pass it successfully. Um, in order to start the career in software testing, I think um, the most important is your desire motivation to learn, uh, to grow up and work hard and get results. And I think generally everything is possible. Uh, we often used to say that software testing is relentless learning. And proudly I can say that majority of our colleagues started on um, entry level as a junior specialist. Uh, and then with the desire and motivation to grow up and learn more, currently they are managing quite complex, challenging um, projects, international ones. Um, therefore, like uh, start your career uh, with the desire and um, willingness to learn more and grow up. Um, and this course will guide you to understand the basic and fundamentals understanding of software testing. The getting the certification for you will be the next step in your career. Um, and, um, uh, and the certification is worldwide recognized and every international IT company can accept this, any certificate received from ISTQB. And of course, with your career development path, you start with a junior, then you have options to move to the middle, senior, the project manager, and the whole length of your career path, depending on your desire and um, the spirit to work hard. Uh, beside this, I think the um, fundamental understanding of software testing is needed for every specialist from uh, the IT sphere, and um, this is the very understanding and the basics of um, uh, fundamentals around software testing. Speaking about the plans, um, firstly, I would like to mention that we already hosted two intakes last year, 2022. We had uh, spring and uh, uh, fall uh, semesters, um, and uh, later I will share the, some statistical data about these intakes. I guess it should be interesting. Um, about the plans for this year, in the March, uh, we are starting uh, the first, uh, the third intake already. Uh, quite soon you will meet the team who will be for you for the whole length of this course. Uh, we will have also like in a uh, fall semester, but in order to get um, the exact dates and be updated, just follow our page or Facebook community. Here you can see our QR code, you can scan and follow us and um, stay updated. Um, I think some of you may be interested why um, ISTQB certification at all. Um, because firstly, as I mentioned, uh, all these certifications is worldwide known and uh, accepted. 
by different uh, companies. Um, all syllabus and materials documents are created by the experts who have years of experience in software testing, either from industry or from academia side. Um, uh, there exists the common vocabulary for the specialists around the world in, uh, and in, in this sphere and um, all these gathered in the glossary. Uh, all materials, time after time, are updated depending on the trends and new changes worldwide. So it doesn't mean that um, something was created and just forgotten. Everything is updated time after time. And there can be lots of other reasons uh, why to choose ISTQB certification. But what about the accredited course? Why to choose this one? Uh, firstly, what means accreditation? It means that all documents will be reviewed and checked by local representative board of ISTQB or ISTQB itself, depending on the situation. Um, all the experts, all the teachers who will teach uh, the course and um, trainers uh, means that they have and are holding the certification itself, the proper one, depending on the course. Um, and um, all the materials will be updated depending on any change uh, or the future, if anything will be changed in syllabus, in glossary and any other documents. It means that accredited training provider will do the similar and proper changes as well. Um, I guess there can be found a lot of other reasons, but I will not stop here for a long time. And I would like to briefly uh, speak about the company who is hosting um, who is hosting um, these um, uh, uh, courses? And I would like to speak about um, about Exactpro. Um, uh, so Exactpro provides uh, independent software testing services for mission critical uh, technology that underpins global financial markets. And um, the firm is experienced with the trading uh, or uh, risk management systems, uh, clearing and settlement platforms, and uh, the various the other ones. Um, we do provide uh, functional and non-functional testing services um, um, and headquarters in UK uh, and operations in US, um, Lithuania, Georgia, Sri Lanka, um, and recently in 2022, we opened the other locations as well uh, the other offices in other locations as well and um, just as a history and a glance I think it worth to mention that from 2015 till 2018 we were part of London Tech Exchange Group um, and all this incorporated in 2009 uh, just with 10 people currently we are around 700 specialists all over the, the all over our locations um, speaking about our clients um, that are worldwide spread out, that our clients are uh, 10 of the world's top 20 exchanges um, and clearing houses. Um, okay. Um, since I'm uh, based in Georgia, I'm just a glance at uh, the history of um, uh, Georgia when we started and opened the um, office here. It was the um, fall uh, 2018. Um, and uh, since then, we started to expand the area of software testing in the country. Uh, we hosted the first meetup uh, in February 2019. Since then, we are working with the communities. Um, we hosted several meetups, conferences, webinars, and even trainings, as you see. Um, and also participated in a several other um uh, events hosted by the different communities and we are trying to support the community trying to increase the awareness of software testing in Georgia. Um, speaking about supporting certifications, um, firstly uh, we are partner with ISTQB um, as a platinum partner. Uh, we cooperate quite closely with local um, representative board of ISTQB in Georgia called JOSTQB in uh, different topics. Um, also, we are partnering with GASC, which is the, one of the biggest exam provider. And due to this um, cooperation, we opened the first accredited exam center in Tbilisi in Georgia. 
since then it's possible that everyone can um, go and in, take the exam in person um and uh speaking of course about all these certifications it's, it's worth to mention that definitely we support um um the certification scheme itself and we have around 200 plus specialists who have taken the ISTQB certification foundation level and uh, some others even the above and the other levels of ISTQB certifications um according to our inner program everyone who successfully passed the exam uh gets the compensation and also monthly bonus beside this um it's uh yearly uh it's a fixed uh, sum of the money allocated to each member who can use that for their um, career development uh, in order to grow up uh, much faster and to devote for themselves in order to learn more um, speaking about educational side, um, we tried also all this uh, period, all the experience that we gathered all these years to share all this information. Uh, and definitely we have a um, dedicated channel. Everyone is welcome to subscribe, um, find the interesting topics for them, uh, listen uh, to these courses or meetups and different uh, topics uh, for depending on their interests, of course. Uh, most of the um, topics and uh, videos are available in two languages. And of course, everything is free of charge. So you are welcome to subscribe and watch our videos. And now I would like to move to the course content and the structure itself, um, how all this will be will work uh, for the upcoming nine weeks. So the length of the course is nine weeks. Um, regarding to the fee, um, it's the course is a subject to a fee, um, but there will be uh, some exceptions. Um, uh, the students from our partner universities and the beneficiaries um of the program uh 500 women in tech all these beneficiaries will um be able to get the course free of charge and beside this all candidates who will uh, complete the entry test that will share uh, with you near to them the beginning of the course um all these people and candidates will be the subject to uh, get a grant and have the course free of charge uh, the course itself will start on 16th of March, and the last day will be the MOOC exam day, uh, 11th of May. Uh, itself, how it will be uh, structured, uh, for example, there will be uh, two types of meetings per each week. Um, one meeting uh, will be dedicated to presentations and um, Q&A sessions and overview of the uh, uh, video that would be shared with you before the meeting. And it will be based on the chapters. Um, you will have chance once again with the expert to overview all the materials and uh, they ask um, uh, the questions and get the answers. And the second meeting uh, will be according to, uh, to the test. Um, and the test will be based on the chapter and the materials that you will um, get on the first meeting. Um, the course itself will be online. Um, you will get support of our experts for the whole length of the course. And um, when the course will be finished uh, one month, we still will support you. So you will feel free to ask any questions. Um, during the course, we'll be uh, created the closed Facebook group. And uh, we will try to share all updates, all information there, all materials, uh, links. And um, you will be welcome to ask there any questions, and our experts will try to support you even um, when even while the course will be finished, more one month, we will be online and trying to support uh, all our students. And yes, the course, um, definitely, I think I mentioned already, is that accredited uh, by STQB. And um, later I will mention uh, how to find um, the course, if it's accredited or not. I will show you how to find this. And the course itself will be English. Um, it's crucial, I think, because um, the exam itself, um, especially those who want to take in Georgia, will be in English. Um, 
If I will compare um, this intake to the previous intakes, um, we have we decided to do um, like sessions of workshops that will be dedicated to the more uh, practical side. Um, we have years of experience and due to um, or all our previous intakes, um, uh, the feedback that we received from our students was that all of them, majority of them was interested to to get uh, also the sites and meetings uh, related to the practical side and not only related to the theory and discussions of the questions and the exams. Therefore, we decided that um, as an addition to provide around seven meetings um, related to the practical side uh, with a length of one hour meeting workshops. Um, it, it, um, the materials and information discussed during this workshop will not be included in the mock exam or it will not have any impact if anyone will not attend it as well. Uh, it's just because um, of the huge interest that we saw from the students of the previous intakes, and I hope it will be interesting for you to also feel and see you and work online and see this practical side as well. Uh, and everyone, every student who will be enrolled on the course will have a chance also to, to take um, the part of these workshops. Um, and the information will be shared later in the Facebook group by the mails, those who registered on the course. So follow all this information and you will get also when it will start and um, you will be updated. Um, now about how it looks like um, the third intake schedule. As I mentioned, it starts uh, from 16th of March. Um, the, the MOOC exam will be on 11th of May. Um, and um, yes, the, in each week there will be two meetings um, and uh, all the content itself will be divided based on the chapters. Some uh, chapters will be divided into two parts and the others, well, not. Um, itself, uh, the length of the meetings uh, will be around 45 minutes, um, as I mentioned, with the discussions part, uh, with the presentations, and I feel like with a full of Q&A sessions where you will have a chance to ask the experts directly your questions and get the answers as well. The MOOC exam itself will include um, the 40 questions, um, and uh, those um, who will pass successfully, it means that um, around 75% or above will get um, the certification from us, uh, which means that you will have the certification of accredited uh, training provider uh, and the ability and offer to try uh, the internship with us or employment opportunities. And I mentioned, I think that um, everyone is uh, capable to find um, the if the course is accredited or not, because generally everywhere you can find a lot of trainings um, worldwide that is trying to support you and help to prepare for the exam, but not all of them is accredited. Therefore, you can try to find um, on the official ISTQB website if it's accredited or not, like you see on the screen our uh, the, uh, case so about ExactPro. It means that um, ExactPro course is accredited one. And you can find and check every any other course like this. It's invisible on the screen. Um, I think it should be also interesting to just look for briefly about some uh, stats and information from intake first and the second one. Um, like, um, for example, if I compare the first and second intake, um, we started like with 104 people for the first intake and with the second intake, like 117 since they completed the entry test. And... Um, uh, only those who were capable like uh, to pass smoke exams, like from 73 uh, people, only 28 managed to take and pass successfully smoke exam, while for the second intake from uh, 78, only 11. It means that um, it's quite difficult to take and pass the exam, of course, and everyone will need to work hard and devote the time uh, prepare for the exam, learn more, um, devote time for uh, studying, of course. 
And um, interesting information also, who managed to pass successfully the, the international ICQB exam as well. As you see, it's very few numbers. Um, but if we look, for example, um, for the Georgia case, um, uh, how it looks like the statistical data around um, the, those who managed to pass the exam, like, for example, if I compare 2021 uh, from 41 person, only 26 managed to take it and uh, to pass it successfully. And this year, it's a quite a huge gap from 83, like um, 37 person managed to pass and take um, certificates. But it doesn't include only CTFL, but the other levels as well. But there is a huge gap and the interest is growing up in our country, I would say, and the people are more eager to take and pass successful exams. I hope it will be the same for you, those who will start the course with us and will pass and take the, take the course and then pass it successfully. Now, I would say that it's a very interesting part where I would like to you to introduce to the team who will be for the, the rest um, or for the third intake with you, with the different chapters, with the different discussions. Um, first, I would like to ask Shannon to join us, um, our marketing manager and moderator for the whole um, third um, course intake. Jana, if you can tell us a little bit about yourself and your role for this course, it will be great. Uh, hello. Yes, sorry, I can't uh, open my camera, fortunately. Uh, yeah, uh, so, but I will see you during uh, all um, practice sessions of the course. So uh, I work as a marketing manager and uh, I will be moderating uh, practice and theory sessions. Uh, so I hope to see you quite often. <laughs> uh, also, I will be helping you with different organizational aspects. Uh, like share with you all updates, schedules, and answer your questions. So see you soon. <laughs> Thank you, Jana. Thank you. Um, now I would like to ask Mikhail to join us. Mikhail is um, head of the Capital Market Division. Uh, Mikhail, it will be great if you can tell a little bit about yourself and also your role for this course. Uh, good morning, uh, afternoon, everyone. My name is Mikhail Dinsov, like I already mentioned, and I'm a Capital Markets Head of K here at Exact Pro. So in our session, I will be presenting to you the first chapter of the ICQB Foundation level syllabus, uh, which covers basically the fundamentals of the software testing. And I'll, obviously, I'm looking forward to sharing uh, my insights and experience with you. And I hope that this lecture will provide you with valuable knowledge about software testing fundamentals in the context of a stock exchange. Thanks. Thank you. Um, now I would like to ask Sarat to join us. Uh, Sarat is our QA manager based in Sri Lanka. Uh, Sarat, can you join us and tell a little bit about yourself and uh, about your role in this course? Uh, hello, everyone. Um, uh, I am currently uh, working as a QA manager and doing uh, portrait uh, systems and testing on that. And I will be basically doing the chapter two and it's based on the like software development lifecycle and you will learn uh, different type of testing types and uh, there are different testing levels. So with my experience, I will try to uh, catch a bit more examples and like a real life example and have with the based on the ISDB QB uh, glossary with that and uh, so hope to see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. Elena, I would like to ask you to join us, our program manager and Exact Pro. And um, can you tell us also a little bit about yourself and your role uh, for this course? Yeah, hello, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Elena. Uh, I'm a program manager at Exact Pro. My uh, career in software testing started six years ago when I joined Exact Pro as a test analyst. And now I lead a technical documentation project as well as help with communications and research. Uh, during this course, uh, uh, I will be your instructor for chapter three that is dedicated to static testing. 
I was also supporting the previous intake of this course, uh, and it was a great experience. So I'm thrilled about this one too. Uh, thanks so much for joining us today, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I think Vartang, uh, unfortunately, is not with us today. Um, Vartang will also uh, be expert of some of the chapters, and you will have a chance to meet with him and um, discuss and um, all the questions that you will have. Um, therefore, I will move to Artyom and ask him um, to uh, join us, uh, our project manager at Exact Pro. And it will be great if you can uh, share a little bit uh, about you uh, to us and also about your role for this course. Hey all. Uh, I've been working for around 10 years in QA and uh, around uh, six years in Exact Pro on different projects, including data warehouses, regulatory reporting, and uh, rating assignment for the financial instruments. And uh, together, we will uh, look at the test management section of the ICQB exam. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and Chaturanga, I would like to ask you also to join us. Um, our QA manager um, at Exact Pro will be great if you can share with us um, your experience and also your role in this course. Uh, so hi, everyone. So I'm Chaturanga from Sri Lanka. So I joined Exact Pro back in 2022 and I have been working in the QA industry for nearly 11 years now. So uh, in this course, I will be doing the uh, tool support of testing, which is the chapter six. And uh, last time also I did the same chapter. So I'll be uh, trying to use whatever knowledge that I have gained throughout my career uh, so that you guys can pass the exam uh, successfully. So let's hope to have a very uh, successful learning session soon. Thank you. And now I would like to ask Tatiana to join us as well, our middle software tester, uh, and tell us a little bit about you yourself and also your role in this course. Hi, everyone. <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, I hope you can sing it. Uh, my responsibility uh, in this course will be the practice questions uh, for each chapter and also the mock exam. Uh, I was uh, one of uh, the um, participants uh, of the first intake of this course, uh, and I was uh, one of those uh, four people who passed uh, the ISTQB exam successfully, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you all can do the same, so uh, hope to see you all on this course. Thank you. <laughs> And now I would like to ask Dimitri, our creative manager, to join us as well and to tell a little bit about yourself and your role for this course. Hi. Uh, I don't know if my video is running or not. I can only see Natya. <laughs> oh. No, yeah, unfortunately, okay. we cannot see you. No, really? That's weird. Uh, it says that my video is running and... Okay, never mind if, uh, <laughs> sorry, if you can't see me. Oh, well, they can see me. Okay, hi. <laughs> uh, so my name is Mitty and I'm a creative manager in Exact Pro. I have been with Exact Pro for nine years already. And my task for this course is to provide you with a concise yet very accessible uh, representation of every chapter before you actually start studying the chapter so before every chapter you will receive a video mm -hmm. with the chapter overview and i will be responsible for those videos so hopefully they will be helpful and i wish you all luck thank you Dmitry. <laughs> so once again those who still hasn't registered for the course. Here you see the QR codes. Feel free to register for the course and um, to do this course with us, with our team that you just now uh, were introduced to. 
Um, I would like also to do, do, devote some time uh, and give some recommendations regarding those who are interested to take the, um, the ICTQB CTFL exam itself. Um, the firstly, uh, I would like to recommend to contact the local representative board of ICTQB itself, uh, because generally either uh, some local representative boards uh, provide the exams itself, the official exams, or there can be the other partner exam providers. Um, on the screen, you can see the case of Sri Lanka representative official board of ICQB, and you can contact them directly and take a book and take the exam itself. Uh, and in a case of, for example, exam provider, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, we are partnering with GASC. Uh, therefore, let me describe how it will work in the example of GASC. Um, the exam provider um, uh, or provides two options to take the exam, either remote one or in person. Um, in the case, if you decide to take the remote exam, I would recommend to follow quite carefully all the instructions and the security steps that they are sharing in advance, check the platform and uh, all the things before in order to be ready as you are going to take the exam from the home. Uh, and all the steps, instructions should be carefully paid attention. And in a case of any contact, as you see here, and it's visible on their website everywhere, you just need to write on the proper mail and um, give notification about any issue that you may raise during the exam or before. In a case you decide to uh, take uh, an, uh, the exam and pass the exam center, uh, you need to uh, find, depending on the location, the proper date and convenient date for you and book um, book it and then arrive uh, in the center just a few minutes before, at least 15 or 20 minutes earlier the exam. And in a case of any questions or problems, again, you can contact to their mail that is quite actively and they are supporting and quite fast. They are answering it quite fast. And uh, one uh, last slide before we will move on the Q&A session, um, uh, that um, every uh, official ICQB website also has the successful candidate register. And it means that everyone who passed successfully can be found on ICQB website as well. And uh, you can easily check by name and find, for example, yourself if you have, if you have already taken the exam and passed it successfully. And as I mentioned, now we can start and move on the Q&A sessions and everyone is welcome to ask any question in YouTube chat and we will try to cover them. Um, I see one question uh, that Jana already covered um, regarding to the meetings. Uh, yes, generally uh, it will be Monday and Thursday. You are totally right. And um, all the meetings will have records. Uh, records will be shared. Um, the pre-recorded videos will be shared um, before the meeting based on the different chapters. And um, one important thing during the whole um, session, I think every expert will share with you that it's important to follow and check the syllabus, the last updated one, to read it carefully, to read carefully the glossary as well. And um, as it's the main guide and uh, all the other materials, definitely that we will share with you. Can you please give me the information about fees and how can I get the grants? Uh, and so there are three different options um, regarding the grant. Uh, everyone, every student from our partner universities on different locations um, can quite easily get the course free of charge. There is no need of and there is no any fee for them. For any beneficiary from the project 500, um, 500 women in tech for them, uh, it's also free of charge, and anyone who will take um, the entry test, it's also the subject to get the grant. So I would just recommend 
to fill the test when you will receive on since you, if you are registered of the course, of course. So definitely you should um, do that entry test and I'm sure you will get um, uh, the interesting and information for you uh, regarding the grant and successfully it may be also free of charge for you. Um, another question that I see that I already have ISTQB certificate. Does exact pro plan to have open position for junior software testing anytime soon? Um, definitely yes. That um, it's great. First of all, that you have um, certificate and congratulations on that. Um, and um, yes, we have open uh, uh, vacancies time after time, and you just need to follow up. And uh, since you will see the open uh, vacation, oh, I'm sorry, vacancy. Uh, just send your CV information and um, our HR managers will contact you and um, you will follow the procedures and processes of interview. Um, has I received on mail? Yes. Um, sorry. Uh, yes. You will uh, receive um, the test. Um, so of the first important step for you is to just, uh, if you haven't registered yet, just you have to register on this course. And then on the same mail, you will receive different information. And also, as I mentioned, uh, those who will be enrolled on the course, um, there will be also created closed Facebook group and uh, you will get also information from these source as well. Okay, that if you're registered, that's great. Let, let's wait a little bit more. Maybe there will be other questions. Meanwhile, I can say that um, I already mentioned that on the, our YouTube channel, you can find the different sources of a different courses or webinars, other meetings, different topics of the learning material that will be useful for you if you, are, if you want to learn different topics as well. Feel free to check out. Oh, interesting comment that I see in YouTube chat. Um, I'm excited because learning something new is always interesting for me. Great. <laughs> Happy to hear that. Uh, one more question that I see. Is the grant covering ICB exam fee as well? No. Um, uh, like the, uh, the exam that I mentioned, the MOOC exam, it belongs to our course. Yeah, it's, it's created by us, our experts. 
it will be similar to the real ICQB exam, but uh, the, the ICQB exam itself fee is not covered. Uh, this fee is not covered by us, and it means that uh, if you would like to take it, you will need personally to book exam to pay for that and then to take it. And I hope um, that you will pass it successfully. But what I would advise for you is firstly to take the course uh, to uh, learn really um, and to see the results of our mock exams. Um, it already gives you some understanding if uh, what site you need to work better and uh, or improve, or are you already on the level that you already know all the material and ready to go for the exam, and then to book the exam and to go for the ISTQB exam itself as well. You are welcome. <laughs> About positions. Um, maybe I should add also that um, time after time we are hosting um, if we have um, available positions on our website as well on the part of career so feel free to check and uh, get information around this and then apply of course um, another question about do you cover AI testing in this course um, this course is only dedicated for you to prepare for to pass and take the uh, CTFL product of ISTQB. Therefore, uh, it's not included. And here, uh, Jeanne also shared quite interesting um, the link for the AI. We have um, we have dedicated course those who are interested in them about the AI product in order to prepare for for another uh, exam for ICQB. And you are feel free to check our channel to see the videos. And then you can ask the questions. Of course, you you will be interested in. Let's wait uh, more a few minutes and if there will not be any questions, I think we can finish it. So far, I, I don't see any other questions. So I would like to thank all of you for your attendance today uh, for this um, webinar. I hope it was useful for you, for your, for your information. I would like to thank all my colleagues um, who was part of this today's webinar and also will be the part and the team for the 
upcoming intake. Thank all of you and wish to have a good evening and goodbye. <laughs>